Hi everybody, my name is Kim and in this video we are going to be talking about the color space management in Storyboard Pro 20. So you might be wondering, what is a color space? Well, color spaces are profiles defining the rules used by a display device such as a monitor or a projector to convert numerical color values into colors. This basically means that a color space will control how that color in your project is displayed on a screen or a projector. That's why it's important to keep your color spaces the same throughout your software in order to maintain color integrity across your project. In the past, Storyboard Pro did not have any color management. It was something that wasn't needed, but it has been added now so that it is more compatible with other programs, especially because Storyboard Pro is often part of a bigger pipeline. The color space management isn't so prevalent when it comes to vector images, but it will definitely help when you are exporting bitmap video or importing bitmap images. There are three ways that you can adjust your color space in Storyboard Pro. One way is to create a new project and change the color space from there. Another is to open the properties of the storyboard you're working on by going to the storyboard menu and properties all the way at the bottom. I'm going to just change this one to sRGB, for instance. And the third place you can change the color space is when you actually export something like an image or a movie. You'll see here that you actually have a color space option, which is not available if you have the project set as having no color space management. So make sure that you've set your project to a color space before you export if you would like to delegate a color space to the exported media. And that's your color space management in Storyboard Pro 20.